Chris, we're standing here after a 3-1 defeat at Hills or in town. Just, just initially your reaction. Um, just feels like a deja vu. We just, we just seem to be having these interviews with the same output from what we've seen today. Um, when I look at it over the 90 minutes, it's been, you know, from a footballing point of view, we're much the better side. There's no getting away from that. Um, I thought we controlled the, the game for long periods, but as we're finding week in, week out, it seems to be that, that what we're doing in both boxes just isn't good enough. Um, we're not killing games off when we've got opportunities to do that, and we just seem to be giving soft balls away. Now, it doesn't make a difference what we're doing in terms of a, a possession uh, point of view. We're not going to improve on the two 18 yard boxes. Then it's all in vain. Yeah. Absolutely, you see, it was a uh, sort of a difficult afternoon to take. Should you say Whitby, especially the first half, looked looked quite good. Yeah, again, I, I haven't got any complaints regarding you know the, the tactics that, that were that were put out there, that were executed, the way that we we managed the game. But again, if we're going to give away soft balls, um, if we're not going to take our chances at key times in, in games, then. It, it, it's all in vain. It doesn't count for nothing. Um, as we've seen today, count for nothing. Yeah, absolutely, as well. Kyle Fry opened the scoring. It's um, two and two for him, Chris. He's, he's really making a point for keeping himself in that first team. Yeah, I thought he was a bright spark today. I thought there were some good performances today. Um, you know, if you take away the scoreline, like you say, you'd, you'd be happy with, with what we did today. But it's the scoreline that you're going to be judged by. It's the scoreline that's going to obviously, you know, come the end of the season, have have a bearing on, on what happens for this season, which, as things stand, isn't looking very good. Yeah, absolutely. You mentioned that there. And Sutton Caulfield winning today, Chris, it, it really tightens that uh, that grip around the relegation area, doesn't it? It does. I um, thought we'd, we'd had our you know, potential relegation season a couple of seasons back. I thought that was behind us. But it's very much so part of uh, what's going on at the moment. We are we're in a... We're in a bit of a fight, um, and like I say, we've got to, we've got to make improvements. We've got to you know, more so the the results have to improve. Um, we've got to get points on the board and get clear of this this uh, this danger zone. In terms of um, changes to how we obviously set up things like that, Chris, uh, how much does this sort of change your plans made in this situation? Well, it's not ideal because obviously it puts an amount of pressure on on myself. It puts an amount of pressure on the players. Um, like I say, we were looking to, you know, to try and push for these playoffs this season. Um, that doesn't look like it's going to happen. Um, we've got to ensure that, like I say, the results improve to the point where, where we're not dragged into something that, that could be, you know, could be messy. Yeah, absolutely. Um, a couple of absentees there: Ryan Whitley and Stephen Snaith. Um, Snaith obviously back on Wednesday night for Redcross Athletic. That's going to be a big boost. Yeah, of course it is. He's um, his team captain. Like I say, he uh, leads by example. I thought the two boys in the middle of the park did well today, picked up a lot of second balls, um, set a lot of the moves up. Um, like you say, Steve's always going to you know, help the cause. Yeah, absolutely, and uh, Dan Dixon in goal as well. Can't really be at fault for any of the goals, can he? No, no, I mean, they've had a, a really bad, uh, badly deflected goal for the first one. I think the second one was an own goal. Um, and then the third one, we seem to be at sixes and sevens, you know, defensively. Left him with no chance, really. In terms of injuries, then, Chris, and moving on to Wednesday night's game in the North Riding Senior Cup. Um, looking at it, we've got John Campbell out. Obviously, Conor Dunleavy still a while off, um, but as well, Ryan Whitley. What what do you think they'll be like for uh, Wednesday? Um, obviously, Conor. That's a, a long-term one. Um, I don't think we'll see Conor this year. Um, Ryan, we're hopeful that he'll be fit for Wednesday, um, available for selection. Um, John Campbell, he's, he's close. Um, he may have an involvement in the squad come Wednesday, um, but again, we'll look at that over the next couple of days. And something that we mentioned last week, and we're mentioning it again due to the postponement, is it's a chance to arrest this run. We'll take any chance yeah. because at the moment, like you say, there's a, a real, you know, sinking feeling at the moment that. But like you say, things aren't going our way for different reasons. Um, but we can't feel sorry for ourselves. We've talked in detail in the changing room there. Um, like I say, we've got to 
react and react well and you know and get some rewards and, and some points that, that maybe do warrant performance levels um, you know, if we were coming away from home and getting played off the park then you'd have real reason for concern the reason for concern at the moment is like I say the, the points are not falling in for us and we're slowly but surely getting dragged into a, a bit of a dogfight. Thank you very much Chris. Right.